Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Thank you for joining me for another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. I hope you are having a fabulous week so far. A little jazz hands in there for you. <laughs> I have two words for you, football season. Oh yeah. Today I'm gonna to share with you a tip that is gonna come in handy for those of you who really care about their system variables. And for those of you who don't like it when they get changed behind your back. Or for those of you who are in charge of other people in the office and they're constantly accidentally setting their system variables to bad settings, like pick first, you know who you are. <laughs> I'm going to go into the top secret, incidentally, because it's not in, it's, you won't find it in the menu system, you won't find it in the ribbon, sysvar monitor. Very cool command. Top secret, very cool command. Now in this list, I have system variables that are set to my preferred settings. It actually is pre-populated with quite a few system variables at the request of the Autodesk product support team who are just tired of answering questions like file about system variables like file, dia, or mere text. So they're pre-populated in here. If you don't like them, you can take them out. It's very easy to add your most important system variables to this list. For example, I like MT Jigstring. And if you don't know what it is, look it up. I get selected. Or you can look at one of my previous tips. All right, I added empty jig string. And you can actually see that I have the system variables. You can see I have my preferred settings. No comment about that. And you also have control over what happens when these system variables get changed. You can have it notify you at the command line, notify you when the system variables change, or for those of you who like to be more dramatic, you can also enable a balloon notification. I'm going to go for both. I'm living large. Now, I'm going to run a really bad list routine where they did not set the system variables back where they should. It's going to alter some very important system variables. It is taken after the express tool burst, which is a great command. It allows you to explode a block with attributes and keep the attribute value. Fabulous. Love that. I'm going to, I took it though. I messed it all up. It's called burst two. I'm going to select a block or two and it will do its job. It will explode that and keep the attribute values, but you'll see that the monitor has said, hey, 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 some system variables have been changed. It is alerting me. I'm going to dismiss it for now. I'm going to show you what has happened. I'm going to go into any command that is asking for to select a file. For example, the open command, and look what's happening. At the command line, it's asking me for the name of a join file to open, but it expects me to type in the path. Like, who knows how to do that anymore? Where's my dialog box so I can just pick it? That is because file dia got turned off. That's okay, not to worry. The sysbar monitor will come to your rescue. You will see when I open it up, it says, oh my goodness, two system variables got messed up in that list routine. Well then, And it has a big exclamation point, so you can tell that it's not happy about it. And very simply, you can select reset all. Hey, it doesn't get any easier than that. System variable monitor to the rescue. So for those of you, once again, who don't like it when your system variables get changed behind your back, Give the system variable monitor a try, sysfar monitor, and you, and your system variables will live happily ever after. Thank you for joining me.